right, ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23 Season 4 is upon us. We about to drop all that information and all that good stuff. We also going to talk about the last patch that went through and how the 2K community is reacting to it. So let's just get right into that. But before we get started, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment different down below man that's gonna do two things for y'all number one every single friday we give away 50 dollars in vc cash out or we give away a copy of a video game um or maybe this week we might give away these have uh, these earbuds right here man i'm gonna put the link down there because a couple people asked about them but these are the earbuds that i've been using uh link will be down in the description or like it'll be pinned down there in the comment section man make sure y'all like the video comment different down below also man like we said y'all y'all know we got the shirts and all that good stuff uh on the site breeze tees you can get your different shirt all that good stuff um you know there's tons of shirts and stuff like that that we got man that's up there um also, if we can average 8K views and YouTube is doing a great job of making sure that we don't do that with their last couple of updates or whatever, uh, we're going to be giving away a next-gen console, whether that be an Xbox, a PlayStation, or a PS5, I mean, or a, a laptop, or a uh, or $500. And last but not least, the bots are down there. I'm blocking them all. You might not even see them anymore. I think they have given up, but just in case you do, that's not my phone number, and I'm not on Telegram. I'm on Instagram. Uh, Twitter and the Tiki Taki man. So make sure y'all like the video and comment for your chance to get involved in all of this stuff and win down below. And with all that out of the way, good morning out there, in 2K land, man. Listen, bro. Uh, season four is upon us. We're gonna go through the quick news that we got. Then we're gonna talk about the season four stuff. I'm gonna let y'all get up out of here, man. And we just gonna run through it just like this. That boy Quavo, Quavo, uh, aka Quavius Young says. People want recognition for something that they're supposed to be doing. Like, dog, you're supposed to take care of your kids. We want a cookie. And that's something that I always say all the time, bro. It's like, it's crazy how people be like, man, I'm out here grinding. I'm doing this. I'm doing that. We be like, shut the f up. Shut the f up, bro. Like Hard Eight say, we know that you're doing it. You're supposed to be doing it. You, you, want, you, you want your boss to give you, give you some extra credit for showing up to work and stuff like that? Oh, yeah, I showed up to work today, boss. They're not going to care about that. Listen, man things you're supposed to do my daddy taught me this a long time ago ain't nobody watching you live your life it seems like they are but ain't nobody watching you live your life and nobody cares go out there do the best you can and uh everything that you're doing you're doing it for you and for your family you ain't doing it for no own lookers or none of that stuff like that that's why i don't care about no designer that's why i wear puma with puma shoes and uh, i don't care about what nobody else thinks i'm the only one that gotta do it and i also derive this thing early make your own decisions because you're the only one that has to live with that decision for the rest of your life that's it you the only one so like you said man ain't nobody ain't nobody watching ain't no peanut gallery watching you live your life that's supposed to cheer every time you do something great and and gonna boo every time you do something wrong it seems like that now with this social media but that's just not how things are bro we, we got a deluded sense of how the world is and then you like you gotta wear i only wear michael Miri, i only wear uh billy jean billy jean billy jean hold on hold on billy jean billy jean pop uh, shout out to pop snoke man hey listen man like some people do that bro uh, this is what I got on right here. A $9 Puma shirt and some regular jeans and an extra regular watch. I don't care about that stuff because that stuff don't define me, man. And you got to love yourself because I love you. So you got to, y'all just got to learn to love yourself, man. And then, hey, you're going to be, you're going to be, going to be good, my brothers, man. I'm glad all my brothers are doing good and all y'all doing great out there today, man. And all that good stuff. But anyway, let's get to the nitty gritty, man. Season four is upon us. News dropping tomorrow. And you already know <laughs> the NBA 2K. And it says, how about bring back the feature that you hyped up in August 2022 for CM Nation and then nerf to appease the casuals? Adrenaline boost. Uh, game changer. No more spamming dribbles for 20 seconds. And he added Baluba on that, bro. And we already know that that's, that's not even the case, bro. Like they said that there was going to be a game changer and change the game. It, it really didn't, man. But it's all good, though, because we really don't care. Look, we playing the game. We love the game. We play. We play the game. We love, man. It, it is what it is. We already know that 2K is not a reflection of real basketball or real life in any way, shape, form, or fashion. If you played real basketball and you and you know the mechanics of real basketball, you will certainly have a small advantage. But I will tell you this in the beginning, you won't have an advantage. You'll have a huge disadvantage because you'll think that things in real life should reflect the 2K. And you got to say, okay, you take the principles of real life and then you just apply them to 2K. That's it. I mean, you know, like, but but like, uh, but then just amplify them. So like shooting a, shooting a three when you're open, we might not take that three every time we open. If we see a, a wide open drive to the basket, and you'll be like, yo, why you take the wide open drive to the basket? You was open for three. And, it was, and you'll say, 
well that you know this the the wide like right there right there i should have went i would have went to the rim in real life but on here i mean it's a wide open three i'm taking that so you have to take those take those and kind of flip them around some some of those principles but it's all good man hey up next we got my boy we got my boy uh we got my boy dr legend you says i've seen more whites go in since the patch than then all year put together something was left out of them patch notes y'all let me know if that's something that y'all seeing seeing man i don't know i don't know if uh if i've seen a whole lot of whites go in definitely free throws but i haven't seen a whole lot of the regular whites go in so y'all let me know y'all gotta let me know on that one that boy down work he was on he was busy today bro that joke say i can't understand why randoms right random inside centers think it's okay uh to just sit down there in the paint uh under the hoop every possession it's even worse when you give them the when you give them post up opportunities and they can't even score out and they can't score out of them. Uh, set a dang screen, somebody, and move yourself. And then so they got that Hall of Fame paint clogger right there, man. I ain't gonna lie, that's fire right there, man. And then this dude says, uh, you know, I mean, I, I get that, man. Um, one one person says sometimes sometimes it works as a distraction as well. If the big man can finish through the post, uh, gets he gets hella uh, shooters open um on my Jokovic vision but i agree set off balls on ball screens and all that bro i'm gonna I'm be real with you bro if if you're if you're posting up every play and you're getting people open by posting up you're playing a team that's just complete and utter nobody should be double teaming the post on this game and again this is another thing that you would think that you would start doing that in real life but i mean you in this game you just say to yourself it's a two that's why that's why we say like the real life principles they really don't apply because people be like i'm unstoppable in the post yes everybody is uh you got to double team me in the post yes you need to double team pretty much everybody in the post if you like to get some stops you can really you can literally put three people down there and the dude can drop step and he's still gonna score so now that we know that we really can't stop somebody down there we just say hey okay well if he scores scores we're gonna try to play defense he's not gonna hit all of them if he scores scores but we're gonna just run our offense and he's gonna get a bunch of twos and we're gonna get some threes and we're gonna win the game so those principles like I said, you would think that those IQ, high IQ principles apply. Well, y'all gonna have to start double team. We do, we do, bro. I'm a, I, you go down there, then you like. Why they gonna have to double team me down here, baby? Because because y'all can't stop me down here. We really be like, we do not care. Like there's somebody on the other team literally laughing at you. Like we do not care. <laughs> you can score 90 now. That dude, dude had a, a a rim running bill, all all straight all blue bill, and rim ran gambit to death. Dude dropped 48 points, and they lost by 60. So like we bro, we we do not care, you know. But uh anyway, and so my dog Grizz say, my dog Grizz say I'm an inside out center. I'm an inside out center, so so the uh so they always play, so they always team up on me uh with another team up on me with another center that's an inside shooter. Uh inside. I shoot 69% from the three, and I and I'm a post scorer, so I'm good. But I ran into a random center the other day, and I respect him hands down. And pretty much what he was saying, Grizz is like, bro, you wanna, you wanna, uh, you gonna stand in the paint every possession and do say it's working. See, there we go. And then see, Grizz just try. He's just really nice about it. He just said, hey, uh, not for the guards that's trying to drive, bro. Uh, that's all, man. And then he said, I got you, bro. If I ever ran into a center like that, that that I was like, yo, bro, you gonna clog the paint and they don't fire back with with you, you. Bitch that ass you can't be telling me about this. Like, you know what I'm saying? You can't be telling me about moving. Like, if I ever do that, hey, I salute you, bro. Just, just sometimes, sometimes it does work, though. You just got to turn on your mic and say, hey, bro, can you clear the paint? But sometimes it's just going to be, hey, you punk motherfucker. You, yeah, you know, it, it ain't nobody trying to hear that, man. But uh, up next, we got that boy, Dime Work. He, I mean, like I said, he come back. He said, no doubt, if you're a good post scorer and I'm the PG, I got no problem with feeding you every every possession. I've been, I've had games where a good post scorer could get 30. But these dudes, these dudes back you down, drop step, and uh, miss a get blocked. And I'm always, I'm not watching that BS. And I agree with that, man. I agree with that, man. Now, somebody said, uh, you know, we came up next with the steals and stuff like that. And they're talking about, I don't see why y'all mad about 99 steal. If I have an attribute at 99, why should I, why should it not work all the time? If you had uh, 99 dunk, uh, shouldn't you expect to dunk on somebody regardless you don't even need 99 in this game but hey i, I get the sentiment he said if i put if i put 99 in any attribute uh except i expect it to work uh what's the point of having 99 if it don't work pretty much what he's saying and I, I don't i never subscribed to that i feel like because they don't say if i'm in good but they don't say say it should work they don't never say if i'm in good position if i'm if i box you in if i'm making you do this i'm making they just be like it just should work and that's just insane to me but hey he says uh what you're really saying <laughs> what you're essentially saying is that under any circumstances if i have a 99 i should get the steal uh yeah and, and that's what i don't agree 
that's like saying under any circumstances if i have a three a 99 three ball i should uh make every three regardless even highly contested and some people actually subscribe to that bro they really believe that bro um you know it is you know they really subscribe to that they feel like if i got a 99 then i should be hitting and that's just how it should be i don't i don't subscribe to that but hey i i get it if they do it is what it is we all gonna have different opinions so it's cool hey that boy that boy swante said they buffed the f out of computers this is insane now the computers let me tell you something about the computers man it looked like it looks like they playing defense on you in the wreck they just close so you take the take that shot hey listen man when that dude up on there take that shot baby it, it's still gonna say open it, it, it just looks like he's closer he's not closer he's not playing any better defense still do the same thing pass it to him and then let that thing fly it's still gonna say open you just need to learn how to shoot through the computers open and you good bro i mean it is what it is but it looked like they better but they, they really are not uh swansea og grandmaster swansea come back and says why is nobody talking about how they slowed the whole game down or, or at least on current i don't feel the, the slowdown uh he said you feel even slower especially on defense what the world is wrong with the 2k devs and uh like I, I don't really feel that but you know it is what it is but that goes hand in hand with what uh iq contain says and he says it's so annoying when when a 2k uh when the 2k when the 2k mechanic needs to be fixed because it gets patched nerfed or buffed uh when it gets patched nerfed or buffed other things always get messed up in the process Steals are impossible now. Now they're not impossible now because I was getting them, but uh, I don't feel like I'm getting, I feel like I'm getting the ones that I definitely should get, but there are some where the dudes are making egregious mistakes with the ball and I, I can't take it from them, man. I don't like that, but hey, it is what it is. That's how they wanted the game. This is where we are. I ain't even mad at it because you, if you know, if you trash, you trash. Y'all see that boy go straight down. To, hold on, hold on. Go straight down Broadway with that thing. Wait, wait, look at me go down Broadway with that. <laughs> y'all see me go down broadway man but hey keeping it on keeping it on track man uh you know be like dimes hey we, we just got a whole little conversation going they say uh, uh badges are good to make your player unique uh just just some op or what have you and uh hold on hold on i think i skipped ahead man because we we had some stuff going man i had my whole dialogue i hate when i set these tabs up and they don't go um you know they don't go how they're supposed to go then one person says the dribble cutoffs exist in the game for uh for good for good defense being played for good de defense being played still wouldn't matter you cannot get consistent stops for uh for good players i mean for good defensive players people are able to dribble right through defense and it's a joke then Don so Don says i i have to disagree i i believe a lot of people just don't know how to play defense i'm not the greatest defender but but oftentimes when i see i mean i see what i see is people overcompensating i used to feel the same way until i realized i was doing too much gotta let clamps work for you i mean i respectfully disagree i mean you got dudes out there you got the best locks in the game can't get a stop like everybody can't be wrong but then again everybody could be wrong in the earth i mean you know what i'm saying it might be flat for real man i don't, I don't know everybody could be wrong man because i ain't gonna lie uh I, I think i was doing too much with the clamps too but but uh and that does happen but at the same time people do dribble just dribble straight through you and don't even have to think sometimes so that's that's what we're talking about i'm not talking about if a good player is getting busy on i'm not talking about when a dude literally is dribbling into my chest and then he's dribbling in my chest again and dribbling in again you know i can't stand that man anyway hey mighty says I think the problem, I think that might be the main problem right there, having the badge to do the job for you. Playing good defense is is still good defense. Playing good defense is still good defense. I uh, I should be able to stop, stop. I should be able to lock you up without a badge. If I play great D, uh, this is all his fault for <laughs> he he uh he always says play basketball. Um, you know I, I feel like um I feel like uh that that that's true to a point, but. You know, I feel it though. He says, if badges did, if badges didn't, but but badges should enhance your ability. They should not unlock an ability. I definitely agree with that. So if badges didn't help, uh, help or make a difference, that wouldn't be any point in having them. How do you think the game, uh, the game should uh work, and how, and how it? I mean, how do you think the game should work, and how the game actually works are two different things. The main problem is people don't want to accept the latter. People rather complain than adapt, and that's that's a fact. People will adapt. Now look, speaking of complaining and adapting, man, bro, a dude wanted to get mouthy with me in the wreck yesterday, bro. Look at this, bro. Look at this. I said, bro, I will be, I will be, damned if I'm gonna argue with somebody <laughs> with a bill. Actually, I said, I wish I motherfucking might argue with somebody 
with a bill like this, bro. This this bill ain't got no redeeming value, bro. Hey, dribble. Are hey, you talking about somebody want to dribble the clock out, bro? And then you upgraded in the wrong order. You're not even a threat, bro. Why would you put your free throw up before you put your three pointer up? But he probably watched some YouTube video saying that you good at you good at a 59 three ball or a 60 or something like that. So it is what it is. This is what everybody's upset about, though. With the uh, we you know with the whole thing. Look, you just literally swiping through the ball. Dude got a 69 ball handling, and you can't even run up and get it with no with no um what's it called equipped with no unpluckable equipment and the other guy got hall of fame glove man so that's that's what people really saying talking about how it's in a, it's it's impossible to get steals but hey look and then last but not least we got the stuff man the prizes and all that stuff y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section about that man but look it's a he's back and then you just say listen a new quick play mode has been added on next gen quick play errors play you know so so you just play quick play by errors you go to the errors and then you can just pick the players and then you can do some of the best matchups magic versus bird uh the jordan era and then the kobe era y'all know about that so some of those best things right there the best players from those eras that's gonna be dope man this is one of the things that i said bro hey i said bro this might be something that actually make me want to come back to the game and get to level 40. Hit level 40 and earn a remote control drone that you can tell that can teleport you anywhere. So you fly the drone around the city and then it'll teleport you to it, man. I think that's dope. Uh, level up and equip yourself with sci-fi, um, uh, a pilot helmet, and more. And you're gonna be like this. And then they had a little video with it, man. You know, talking about them boys like. Hey, listen. If you think that I'm not gonna be married, look at that boy, Rack Levine out there, bae. And then, uh, you know, going to uh, MJ, you know, with the errors, quick play. That's highway to the danger. Boy, I'm going to be out there joint like highway to the danger zone. Y'all know I like my helmets and stuff right there, boy. So I'm going to fly. You know, we got quick play errors. And then they showing some stuff. Um, they showed the hot ride, but I think that was a legend hot ride, man. But that's the season four uh, stuff right there. And then you can see at the end of it, they show they show a few things um, where where it is and i think that uh so let me see if we hit this right here you, you can't see all of it but it does say at uh you get the sci-fi gloves so i'll get the sci-fi gloves at level 10 at level 20 you get the go-kart you get the uh you get the joint at level 40 you get the pilot helmet at level 30 and then at level 37 you get the sci-fi armor and then you get some of the apparel and stuff like that so they showing i know y'all can't see the whole screen man but um Hey, it's better than nothing, man. And then last but not least, um, you know, we're gonna go through here and then just look at this right here. And this is just the important stuff. We're just gonna look at the, the stuff that's just really important, bro. We talked about play now errors. We talked about my career. Uh, you know, we talked about the remote, the, uh, you know, I don't know what they got on the GOAT boat, uh, the futuristic and innovative fast travel. Yeah, let me see. Uh, there are several ways to travel around the city and the GOAT boat. Uh, might be might be our future business blah 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 let me see you got a remote control drone i don't know what they're gonna do for the goat boat but uh there we go with that man you got a remote control drone and have a thrilling sci-fi we just got the helmet you got the uh armor and all of that good stuff so we talked about that we talked about galaxy oval opal rack levine uh we talked about uh lee lee jian leon uh, i can't say his name bro uh expanded events you know, uh, this pink diamond stuff like that. The Paris Paris game. Uh, let me see on top of the lunar joint. This is this is just more stuff about that. Um, yeah, really. W online. Don't care about that. Don't care about 2K beats. Closing remarks. The main thing is, bro. We get some good. It seems like we got some good. Um, we got some good season five, season four uh, rewards. But is that enough to get us back playing the game, man? Y'all, let me know down in the comment section. Hey, like I said, man. We're going to keep playing the game. We're going to keep dry, thriving, driving, and thriving. We're going to keep pushing the community forward, man. And like I said, it don't matter what they do to the game. I'm, I'm just on the thing right here. We're going to play it. It don't matter what they do to it. Let's just try to see how we can be the best that we can at it. Hey, man, love each and every last one of y'all, man. All, all my brothers, man. Love y'all. Hopefully, you guys will be around for the stream this evening. And uh, we're going to holler at y'all next time till next time. Make sure y'all like the video, too, and put different down there because we all different over here. I'm going to holler at y'all next time till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK, the People's Champ. Gosh, baby. Gosh, baby.